everyone. Wow, these lights are bright. Uh, so, yeah, happy to be here and to present the Cure. We're a data platform for battery data. And originally, I wanted to speak about battery performance. Uh, but actually, something interesting happened in the last few weeks, months. And so we kind of switched the topic to safety because everyone's always interested in safety. Now we have a public event that I can speak about. And so uh, we're going to focus a little bit more on hot topics today. And that is, as you see, battery safety. So just a few months back in Paris, in downtown Paris, an electric bus burned down, you know, in mid of operation. And the reaction to that was, oh, that's an outlier. It's not going to happen again until two weeks later, the next bus burned down in downtown Paris, which obviously is not a good, you know, sign of technology readiness, of making people, you know, safe about e-mobility. Um, the same thing actually happened four weeks later in London. Different operator, different battery, different bus, but again, a huge fire. And, you know, in all, we really need batteries to be successful, to, 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 to manage the energy and mobility transition. And so there's, there's about three things that we can do generally to, to improve battery safety. It's improved production quality, it's better battery systems, and it's data analytics. And today I'd like to speak about the third part because that's what we do at Acure. It's not the only thing that you can do to improve battery safety, but it's surprisingly effective. Okay, so just a very quick overview of what's data analytics, what data are we speaking about. Every data, gen every battery generates data, right? It has a battery management system called the BMS, and it continuously monitors voltage, current, and temperature. These data points, they're already there in every single battery on this planet. The only thing that we add is a cloud data lake, basically, where we collect all these data, make it accessible for analysis. So, right now we're managing about a half million battery packs around the world. That adds up to about 1.5 gigawatt hours in e-mobility with OEMs, with micro-mobility, ships, stationary battery systems. And so the examples that I'll show now, they're all from, from the reality, you know, with customers. And so, you know, as mentioned, uh, there's this unique opportunity to speak about a safety incident because it was so public that our customer actually said, okay, let's talk about it openly that we fixed it because, you know, it, that was a problem. And uh, what happened is in, in, in March of this year, within two weeks, three home batteries, like a solar installation on your roof and a battery in the basement, three of those batteries exploded within two weeks. And the company is called Zenec. They're a daughter of ENBV, you know, the big utility here from Stuttgart. And so this was a problem because they have 65,000 installations across Europe. And if three blow up in two weeks, you know, is there a fourth one coming? So they basically shut down 65,000 units. And then they brought us in and said, hey, Acure, you do safety analytics. Can you support us? Like, what's going on? And what happened is we were able based on the historic data that they had already generated, show that all three explosions could have been prevented by data analytics. Up to three weeks ahead of the incident, our algorithms showed you know, everything red. And in the shortest term, it was still six days before the explosion. So it works, right? And by, by showing them that now you know, they're able to prevent such incidents by using software, they could switch on their 65,000 units again. They've been running safely ever since. So this is, you know, a nice success story. Very briefly, how does it work? I still, I have like 50 seconds left, so I'm going to ru rush through it. A battery is made up, you know, of electrochemical processes that are very, very non-linear. But if you have good physical models, if you have lots of data, you're able to dig into the deeper states of the battery. And for example, here you can see an open circuit voltage curve. It's something you usually get from lab tests. We can build it only from operational data. And by tracking how it changes and shifts over time, we can basically dissect, hey, this battery is gassing and gassing is not good. Shut it down. And things like 
this. Um, so if we basically put that into a linear chart, you can see, oh, something's moving from green to yellow to red. This is not good. Please stop. Um, we have two insurance groups that are already backing our products. They will not insure big battery projects anymore without advanced battery analytics, which I think is pretty smart. And yeah, we're rolling out with big OEMs. We, we have a booth over there. If it's interesting, come by. Thank you for being here. Bye.